Good evening, everyone. I mean, good, good afternoon still. I'm Chris. This is Kadri. Hi. We are here from World Cleanup Day. And what we're working on is basically filling all this map with trash. We want to build the biggest, most ugliest map in the world. And we have a lot of help. The 150 countries are already active on this map. You can see the yellow ones. So these are all countries that have national teams that are today doing mapping. They started two months ago or three months ago this spring. Yellow and light yellow ones as well. So only the white ones are missing. Yeah, exactly. So uh, all of these countries are already mapping. And they are mapping until 15 of September this year. And this is the World Cleanup Day. When all of this trash, we'll try to clean it all up. So on 16 September this year, the planet will be a lot cleaner. Uh, it's, by our count, the, the world's biggest peaceful civic action to date. And obviously, trash is a huge problem, and uh, it actually is affecting about nine uh, UN sustainable goals. So if we can solve trash around the planet, we, are, we have solved you know, nine of those goals. Uh, but how do we get there? Uh, the big problem today is trash blindness, because people who are living with trash you know, day in, day out, they're actually quite used to it. So you might go out and don't even notice the trash on the street, you know, in the forest, in the seaside. So uh, you know, it's, it's kind of just there, and you don't think about it so much. So how do we make people see that trash? We create a huge map, as I already said. But we cannot do it even alone you know, with the 150 countries if we only had our, our app, which we have. We have actually 20 or more apps that people are using around the planet in different countries that are localized for their own needs, for their own, own languages and culture and you know uh, whatever. And all of that data, we our goal is to get all of that data onto the single map. You know, obviously, you can see we're using OpenStreetMap here for Carta DB, uh, and all of those dots are actually different types of trash. So what we're also trying to do is uh, get the type. You know, the, is it plastic? Is it, uh, is it uh, some kind of other type of like rubber or, or whatever? And yeah, so uh, Kadri will give you more details about that. Yes. So uh, this uh, this map currently it is already there's data from the eight different apps. So and we are currently creating the collaboration with, like Chris said, around twenty. And the main goal, goal, let's say, let's do it, believes in collaboration and partnership because alone we cannot do anything. So we have our own app, which is like, let's say, created for the purpose of World Cleanup Day. But we also see that it doesn't really matter what people use. It's important that it's open data, that it's openly available, that anybody can use it later on also for researches. So that's, uh, that's the goal. And these are the partners we're also looking yeah. for. It's also important to say all of that code for this uh, application is also on GitHub, so anyone can fork it, can improve it, so forth. Yeah, so I will show you a video from our Nigerian team, which is uh, about mapping. So I will show a few examples. And this one, yeah. My name is Luayemi, and I'm with Let's Do It Nigeria. Let me tell you something quickly. I want to tell you about this World Cleanup app and it's really magnificent because it will help you to map data and trash it again September 15, 2018 which is the World Cleanup Day. All you have to do is go to your Google Store or iOS Store, type the word World Cleanup, enter and download it. Voila! Yeah, so uh, this is, uh, we are like let's say also collecting uh, uh, different materials from our community, which is working very similar to OSM community. And this is an example from Tanzania, for example, where actually the hot OSM team is doing the mapping, whereas the LDI is during, uh, doing the cleanup. So it's a huge partnership. Uh, partnership. There is a few more pictures from, uh, from Tanzania. This is Slovenia, which is actually the map of Slovenia created by trash points. So Slovenia is one of the most mapped country based on waste that we, we have currently. This is Romania, and in case of Romania, they have already like direct links to local municipalities. So the local municipalities are obligated to clean up the waste in two months when a citizen reports it. 
And well, Indonesia is a great example because there's like 17,000 islands and it's already mapped. We started in April, so that's quite crazy. And uh, big question. Yeah. <laughs> Does OSCM need a mapping team for trash as well? Will you guys go out and map the trash with us? Big yes? Awesome. Okay, then we will create one. <laughs> yeah. So all of that started in Estonia 10 years ago, and now we are here with 150 countries, which is awesome. You can download the app for Apple, uh, from App Store and Google Play, and there's uh, everything available on GitHub. If you want to help translation, it's on Crowdin. There's a Facebook group. Just Google us, and you'll find us. Thank you. Thank you. It's not often that a rubbish map gets a round of applause. So um, while we switch over to the face of OSM in Togo, do we have, oh, do we have Samar here? Balamita, Amy? Nope. Oh, that means it might be my talk then. Which... I think the next one isn't here. But my slide should be there. Cool, great, great. Is there a question for the trash map? So, hi, I have a question. So, based on your database, which country is the most wasteful? Yes. Sorry. So currently, let's say the World Cleanup Day is kind of a pilot in a way that we, are, we started in April. We are collecting the initial data. Based on this data, currently we cannot say what is the most uh, wasted, most trashed country in the world. We have to create a baseline as the first thing, and this will be done after the World Cleanup Day. Thank you. I don't know what happened uh, with the trash the volunteers collected. Is it just moved from one place to big trash dump? Uh, sorry, what was the question? What happened with the trash the volunteers collected? It just moved from one place to another. Uh -huh. Okay, so we are, uh, let's say that the, what happens after is uh, based on local communities because the sorting, everything is different in each local community. This means that in some countries it is actually uh, moved to one big dump site because it is uh, proved that it is better to have it at one place than scattered around where the wind can take it to ocean or rivers can take it to ocean wh when there is flooding. So, but on other countries, it's basically every, every country has uh, agreement with local utility companies before the World Cleanup Day. Uh, one thing to add to that is that anyone who has already gone out, mapped trash or participated in the cleanup probably is not ever going to put any trash in the nature anymore. <laughs>